Y'all, my hair is looking crazy. I don't know what's happening. My hair is looking crazy. My apologies. <laughs> so bizarre. Anyway, not why we're here. So LinkedIn now lets you create your background photo to go behind your profile photo. And this is a great way to add some extra branding to your page. So in the next video, we will talk about some different types of branding you could do. But for now, I just want you to think about what you might want to do that represents who you are. And we'll teach you how to make that banner today. So I am Cassandra. I am your career consultant. And I am here to take the overwhelm out of your career journey, be that for your own business or finding your next gig. Uh, so with that, Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm moving my computer in front of me and hopefully I will be able to switch the screen so you can see this next part. You also all can't see, but I got a little I got a little puppy sitting next to me. He wants to be real cuddly right now. Real, real cuddly. Okay, so I think the easiest way to create this is by using Canva. So we are in Canva and I'm gonna hit create design. Oh, well, it wants me to go here. So I think because I just used it, it linked in banner is at the top, but click on that. And I will say it's not actually the right size, but we're going to use it as our starting point. So over on the left hand side, they have all these amazing templates. Go through there and find one that you like. I, for example, really enjoy this Polo Books one. Now, all of this is customizable. So first thing, I'm gonna change the picture. You can upload photos. <laughs> can you see that I use this for all my thumbnails? Um, you can have photos in folders. You can also just use any elements that are within Canva. So we can go in Photos. And Let's say I want something that shows like, oh, I have understanding of time management. So I decide to put this calendar. And now I can change this to say, Cass Thompson, career consulting. And then I'm gonna change the little sub headline to career advice with Moxie and class. Let's say I didn't like the letters. I can change this. Maybe I want them to pop, so I make them my brand colors. Um, ooh, I like that one better. Let's say I don't want the picture to be black and white. I can change that depending on the photo filter. You can give it some color, right? A little bit of pop. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize because this actually isn't quite the right size. So we will hit custom dimensions and I just copy pasted this. So it's going to come out too big. Nope. I'm going to have to look it up. 1584, 396. Copy and resize and it'll go into a whole new document and resize it to the right amount. And then you can go to download. I always like that they give you a little quote. And now I will go to LinkedIn, view profile. Oops. And I will hit the pencil in that top box. And now up comes the pencil to change my background. This is where I can change photo. I already have a photo, so I'm gonna take this new one and hit open, and it added it instead. And see how it fits perfectly? And then I would just hit apply, you know, change photo, apply. Now, I'm not actually going to do this. I like my background, so we're gonna keep it as is. But that is the strategy. So. It's totally free to do in Canva. There's a lot of options for you. I would really play around on their website and see what kind of background you like. Do you want your name in it? Do you want a little tagline? Maybe you want to put, um, you know, coding if you're computer science or you want to put 
some advertising campaigns you made if you're looking for a job in advertising. Like there's really a lot of things you can do to represent who you are. So think through which one would work best for you and then go add that banner. So quick tip for you, go on mobile and check that photo and see if it still turns out the same. Um, when looking at Instagram on mobile, it'll still have the picture, but your profile photo will now be that circle in the center instead of off to the side. So it can actually block words if you put words on there. You want to make sure you put those in the proper places so that they're not blocked on mobile. That is it. I think the key to this is to not overthink it. And like I said in another video, we will talk more about some of the strategies behind branding it. But for now, you just need to get a photo up, put something back there that represents a little bit more of who you are, and you're good to go. So if you have more questions on LinkedIn, please leave those for me in the description box below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of tutorial. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when new videos come out, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!